What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this adjustable coupler lock from Blue Ox. You can see it's through going through our latch, preventing me from opening that up. That way, whether it's sitting there in the parking lot without a truck attached to it, or even attached to the ball on your truck, with this lock on there, nobody can mess with it. You can't unhinge it to take the trailer off. Let's check it out. Taking a closer look at it, I'll show you with the keys here how this works. Is you got the lock that's right here. You get two keys with this. So I turn that, that means it's released. So I can remove this part, and then we slide that up from the latch. Now, you can open that latch, which usually disengages it from the ball that's hooked up to. But the whole thing, with it being down in its place, and this pin in the way, you can't pull that, so you can't unhook it. And then nobody can hook up to it, because with this locked up, you can't pull this latch up, so it really protects your trailer from anybody tampering with it when you're not around. Now I said it was adjustable, that's because it can adjust to different widths of latches. So you can go all the way from three and a half inches to seven eighths. So we can get to the closest one there. Let's see which one works with our latch. We'll get it. Each one has like a notch cut out, so you kind of line that up, the base here with the notch, and then you can turn the key and that'll put it in its place. So there we go. That one lined up. Now I can't slide this back and forth and it's locked into place. Now you're gonna need that adjustment because not every latch is the same. Most of them around this size, they get like a little bit bigger, but you can also use this on different style trailers. So maybe a trailer that has a brake actuator, it's gonna be a little bigger and maybe the latch goes through the body of the coupler. So you'll be able to use this with that on those bigger widths. And we can show you that outside later on. I said close to the beginning, you can use it when it's attached to the ball. So we have our cart here. We're gonna use to simulate a vehicle being backed up to the trailer and lowering the ball down on top of it. That's lowered into place. I can throw that latch and then we can put the pin back through. See where it lines up on one of the adjustment points. Right there, there you go. Now it's locked up. And what I wanted to show you was what I mean by locked up. So I can lift up that trailer, flipping that whole cart up. You can see it's not unlatching and it's not coming undone. The whole thing's been made out of stainless steel. It's also gonna have a quarter of an inch diameter of the pin itself. So that's what kind of hole it will work with on the latch. So make sure you check your trailer, make sure it's gonna fit and work with that. It also helps that the lock assembly is off to the side. So it's not up here. I mean, it couldn't be with this run through there, but it's nice and easy access to turn it and lock it up quickly and easily. Now we're outside on a boat trailer. This one's gonna have the built-in brake actuator here. And this is the assembly why you would need the longer options for this. So you see it goes right through the pinhole there. We put the locking assembly on this side. He lined it up with that groove. There it was, just didn't have it in the right spot. And now it's all locked up. You see, I can't bring that up. And once again, if it's not hooked up to a vehicle, nobody can hook up to it. And if it was hooked up to a vehicle, nobody could unhook it. So just want to compare it to the lock that was already on it. It's going to be another latch or coupler lock as well. This is an each other brand one. This one, however, has a different lock mechanism. So you'll put the key in here and you'll twist it and it'll slowly move the barrel lock off of the pin, which is gonna make it resistance to lock picking, but it does take time. See, it's a lot of turns to get that unhooked and released. Now you'll be able to slide through just like this one and add it to the other side, and then you go back through and tighten it down. So I think the lock we're using today has a little step up just because it's so quick. You just turn the key, slide it where you need it, and then turn the key into place and you're done. Overall, I like the latch lock here. It's really easy to use. I like how quick setup is. You just slide it into place and lock it. You get those two keys with it. And now I don't have to worry about if I leave my trailer unattended or if it's hooked up to my vehicle and I leave the whole thing unattended, I know that nobody's gonna be able to unlatch it and take it away. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope this helped.